feel like you know you're you're, you're in the right place? Um, yes, I'm. Don't feel a little better about it. I'm not quite as nervous. How did you feel about your performance today? I mean, you ended up with some pretty one-sided scores in there. How did you feel that you performed? Um, I, I thought I did. I mean, I like to be extremely critical of myself, so I always think I should be able to. I can do better. Just more work. What do you think you could have done better? I mean, are there instant things that you feel like you should have done differently? Um, I have to go back and watch, but I, I like to be really like critical of myself. How did you feel you performed with Joe Rogan afterwards? I'm sure that was probably the biggest, that was probably more fearful than uh, getting in a cage for you. Uh, yes, sir. It was also really neat to get to see it, meet him in person for like the first real time speaking to him. It's pretty cool. Can you tell me what was going through your head at the moment you had to go get on the microphone in, in, in the center of the cage? Um, it's different. That was the first time I've had to do that since I've been in the UFC. And it was We've well, all been sitting back here just waiting to hear the famous Hannah Cyphers trash talk. We <laughs> you know that you bring the heat, you know, more than Masvidal, more than Diaz, you know, but throw it out there. Let's, let's give us the best trash talk that, that you got. We, we've been waiting for it. I don't, I don't think I have any of that. <laughs> so seriously, you know, I, I'm curious, how do you feel like your career will progress? I mean, I'm sure you see the, the business side of this. People that talk, those are the ones that get the opportunities, right? And it's clear that you don't want to talk if you don't have to. So how do you pick your next challenge? How do you move your career forward? I just like to be competitive with myself and just let my hard work show. And then everything else that comes with it just happens to. I don't want to have to talk it. What, what would you like to see next? I mean, is there a, a date you want to fight for the end of the year? Is there a location, an opponent? What, what, what would be next for you? Um, I would kind of like to stay like stateside for as long as I could because I don't really like flying overly much. <laughs> But I would like to fight before the end of the year if possible, but that's the only time up to the UFC. But. And what if they say Korea is the only spot we got for you? <laughs> then it would be up to them, but I mean, still, it's entirely up to them, really. Did you meet Dana White backstage? Uh, yes, it was pretty cool. Is that the first time you met him? Um, other than like it, like face offs and stuff, yes, yeah, sir. What did he say to you? Uh, he just told me a good job. It was really cool to get to meet him. Uh, and then, so what is it about talking to us that makes you so nervous? I'm, I'm not a real bit talker at all, anyway. Uh, are you aware that you're building a little bit of a fan base, though? Because people like that you're not talking with other people. Do they do you and you're embracing that? And have you noticed that support for who you are? Um, I guess somewhat. My family and my f training partners and stuff back home are really supportive of me, and that matters mostly to me. So. It looked like you had a lot of fun this week. I saw you taking photos with Daniel, you know, Daniel Cormier and a lot of other fighters. And even in the cage tonight, you looked like you were having a lot of fun. Is that accurate? Are you getting you know, more comfortable as you're in your Yes, sir. Um, I, try to, I, I really enjoy the fighting part, and I just try to make sure that I'm enjoying it. That's, that's why I like to do it. If it weren't for that, then it wouldn't be worth it. Does that give you a bit of confidence, you know, being on a card like this? That you're, you know, you're a mainstay in the UFC now, and you're on a, the same card as, like, a Daniel Cormier. Does that, does that kind of help you out when you go into a fight like this, just being like, I belong here? Um, I'm working to where, I, I mean, I want to be able to belong here, but it's just really cool for me to actually be around them, like people I watch and stuff. It's, it's, it's really cool. How are you going to celebrate today? Um... I might go out of, out of shade, my way and eat like a large, milkshake. large chocolate milkshake this time. <laughs> I might get a large. Yes. <laughs> I like chocolate. It's my favorite. Whipped cream. It's a must. Do you have a message from the Hannah Cypher fans who just love the way you bring it? Um, just, I guess, thank you for all the support. Much appreciated. Is it back to the chores on Monday? You know, the park and like that. Is, is it right back to business like, like nothing happened? Pretty much, since I, feel, since I feel good, yes. So what do you like that, though? It almost makes you balance in a way, you know, appreciating what you have and what you look down like it's, you know, for some fighters, they, they change when they get into the UFC. It seems like you're, you know, the same, the same person. Yeah, I don't want to change. I want to just be who I am. And if people like me or don't like me, then it's not on me. It's just, it's me. you think about the future of, like, being a champion? I mean, do you think, like, is that scary to you? The media obligations would increase. You have to be up there on dais in front of press conference. You know they'd ask more of you. Is that is any part of that scary? Um, it makes me feel nervous to think about it. But I would like to, for my skill set and like hard work to put me there one day. It would be really nice. I think I could work that hard. That would make me happy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.